I, I say it was a nice rain today because it wasn't severe. No. It, there were some dry times here and there. It was cozy. So Fort Worth today saw half an inch. Now keep that in mind because if you look over the weekend, about a half an inch. Saturday disappointed a lot of people in the Metroplex, and that's a noticeable hole here uh, from the brighter colors of heavier rain, especially west of the Metroplex, where Decatur, 2.38 inches. That's great. Weatherford, 2.37. Springtown, almost three inches of rain. Uh, east of the Metroplex, about a tenth to a half an inch from Celeste, Greenville, uh, down through Rockwall, Quinlan, Terrell also seeing about a third of an inch. So we take a look at the wider view, that very heavy complex of storms that died out Saturday. Well, there it is. Uh, you see the heavy rain totals west of the Metroplex. Some of you really missed out. Cleburne, uh, a tenth of an inch at best in this area here. Southern Tarrant County, uh, northern Johnson County, just it really just kind of this little hole of not much rain that fell through the weekend. So hopefully we can get you some tomorrow uh, or the next day. We do have some rain chances in the forecast. So you take a look at satellite and radar. You see uh, we had that widespread shower activity that's now moved to the north. What's left over tonight, spotty showers, some sprinkles, Maybe a rumble of thunder that can't be ruled out, certainly, but nothing severe. And as we wake up tomorrow morning, it's mostly cloudy. It's muggy, 10, 20% coverage uh, of a shower or two. It's later in the day where we'll have a better chance to see some uh, thunderstorms move in as a cold front starts to slide into our direction. So you see as we get there seven o'clock in the morning again on Timecast, you see some showers some thunderstorms uh, will start to build in as we head into the afternoon. Watch the cold front start to approach. There it is. There's 12 p.m. We get into the afternoon, some scattered showers and storms. It's a little more widespread as we get into the evening. None of that will be severe, but some of the rain could be heavy. Can't rule out maybe some small hail or some gusty winds uh, in a storm or two. A lot of that will come to an end, certainly by the time we get to late Monday night into Tuesday. So tonight, just isolated showers. That's it. Warm, muggy, light wind, 68 degrees. There's a south wind, 5 to 10. Tomorrow. 84 scattered showers and storms about a 30 to 40% coverage again. That's mainly afternoon and evening not expecting severe weather tomorrow. So that's good news. All right, next 10 days. Very May like, you know, this is the time of the year where we expect these. You have these daily little chances, 20, 30, 40% coverage of some scattered showers and storms. And in between it's pretty warm and muggy. That little cold front that comes in, you see that little wind shift Tuesday, Wednesday, out of the north. It's not going to cool us down dramatically, Teresa, but what it will do is bring the tiniest little bit of relief from humidity. That's a good thing. Uh, it's not a lot, but it's something as highs stay in the low to mid 80s for most of the next 10 days.